week on the net. The Google tax box controversy in France. The week's news. And the video of the week. Proposed by France, the Google tax was originally meant to tax the online advertising revenues of American computer giants such as Yahoo, Microsoft or Google. But with their French operations based in certain European tax havens, France's tax department was unable to reach them. So Senator Philippe Marigny turned to online advertisers. And on the 23rd of November, the Senate's Finance Commission approved the amendment proposed by the UMP deputy and a 1% charge will be levied on all French-based companies purchasing online advertising space. La publicité en ligne est, there is no tax on online advertising. Yet there is a levy on advertising in traditional media, print media, broadcasting media. We wanted to avoid a distortion of competition between other broadcasting means and the web. It's the only operational way of reaching this value chain, although I am well aware that this is not an entirely satisfactory solution. une distorsion de concurrence à l'encontre des modes de diffusion autres que la toile. C'est la seule solution opérationnelle Pour toucher euh, cette chaîne de valeur, euh, j'ai bien conscience que la solution n'est pas pleinement euh, satisfaisante. French companies think these measures are unfair. They have the impression they're paying the price for the lack of tax regulation in Europe. Je pense qu'on paye les pots cassés. The concrete euh, consequence of this tax on online advertising is that our costs go up. And so we ask ourselves whether or not we would be better off moving our head office to avoid paying this tax. I feel we're paying for others because the state cannot lay its hands on tax evaders. Donc une conséquence, est-ce qu'on étudie ou pas l'opportunité de de délocaliser à ce moment-là notre siège fiscal pour s'assurer que on n'est pas cette 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 taxe là. Another foreseeable consequence if French companies are the only ones paying this additional tax, they will logically be at a disadvantage to their European competitors. This will be detrimental to France's digital economy and could be dangerous for smaller companies in this sector. It's clear that we're extremely behind in France as far as internet companies are concerned. The famous startups are mostly found outside of France. In 2009, only 2.1% of companies set up in France were in the digital sector, in the broader sense of the word. When we start a company, it's very difficult to make a profit in the first few years. If we tax these companies, even if it's just 1%, sometimes the difference between positive and negative is less than 1%, so we could be leaving a lot of online advertisers in the red, just when they were going to break even. French companies are concerned and are asking for the withdrawal of this amendment. If voted in by French deputies in December, the tax could come into force in January. The tax is set to generate between 10 and 20 million euros for the French state. Tammy Banovac turned up at Oklahoma City Airport security in her underwear. This retired surgeon was protesting against the systematic enhanced pat-down searches every time she wants to board a plane. Mrs. Banovac is confined to a wheelchair and cannot go through the scanners. So she is subjected to the pat-down searches, which she finds too intrusive and leave her feeling violated. This man has an artificial hip, which sets off the metal detectors. So he too decided to go through the security checks in a bathing suit. He wanted to make life easier for the security agents at the airport, but they ended up asking him to get dressed for a pat-down search. The story of a little boy without his top on at security has also got web users talking. It was actually the boy's father who undressed him, but the video has still sparked controversy. The TSA, the Transportation Security Administration, was forced to post an official response on its blog to stress that at no point had passengers been asked to take off their clothes. But videos condemning these security measures have been multiplying online in recent weeks, reflecting the unease of many passengers regarding these pat-down searches. Two law students from Harvard University have filed a lawsuit against the TSA. They say the administration should have reasonable suspicions over a passenger before submitting them to these types of security procedures.
A group of hackers known as Anonymous posted a message on Twitter this weekend launching a denial-of-service attack on PayPal and expressing support for WikiLeaks, which has been the object of web censorship over the past few days. This is a declaration of war against the online payment site after it blocked the WikiLeaks funding account. This declaration had immediate effects as the PayPal blog was inaccessible for several hours on Saturday. Initiatives to support WikiLeaks and its founder, Julian Assange, are multiplying on the web. Operation Avenge Assange has been set up to recruit activists to defend WikiLeaks and identify enemies of transparency, like Interpol, for example, that issued an international arrest warrant for Assange. Web users are also being asked to vote en masse on the Time magazine website to elect Julian Assange as 2010 Person of the Year. The instigators of this project feel it is a way to build up his reputation. And WikiLeaks is also organizing its retaliation after having been victim to numerous computer attacks that made it impossible to access their website, WikiLeaks is calling upon citizens who support their combat to set up a mass mirror party, whereby they set up identical copies of the site so that the information remains accessible to all. Meanwhile, online support for WikiLeaks continues to grow. The organization's official Facebook page now has over 860,000 members and dozens of groups calling for the world's governments to let Assange get on with his work have appeared on the social network. There is a lot of land available in non-flooded areas, but government policy is stopping people from accessing it. This politician is criticizing the Colombian authorities as President Juan Manuel Santos has just declared a state of emergency in the country. For one month now, Colombia has been dealing with the worst weather in its history, caused by weather phenomenon La Nina. The bad weather has generated extreme flooding and landslides across the country, as we see in these images. An interactive map has been set up on Google listing the towns and villages affected and identifying, in particular, roads that have become inaccessible due to the flooding. And video accounts are also pouring onto sharing sites, demonstrating the extent of the extreme weather conditions. These images, filmed in Medellin, show the country's second largest city completely flooded. And here we see a motorist caught by the rising water levels, taken to safety by the rider of a quad bike. Many citizens are trying to organize a distribution of aid. This web user explains how you can help victims and encourages his fellow citizens to donate clothes, tinned food and other essential products by visiting the site Da Por Colombia, which has been set up especially. The appeal has been largely relayed on the web and in particular on social networks that have become essential in this type of mobilization. See New York City like you'll probably never see it again. Members of the Black Ship team, radio-controlled vehicles enthusiasts, equipped a small model plane with a tiny camera and then flew it over Brooklyn and parts of Manhattan. These exceptional images were filmed with a collaboration of local authorities, which gave the team permission to fly in these zones, which are usually off-limits for aircrafts. Creators of this video had the original idea of imagining what the adventures of Wile E. Coyote and his enemy Roadrunner would look like if the two cartoon characters were human. This short film is called Wile vs. Rhodes and takes place in the Grand Canyon. We see Wile, a desperately thirsty man, take on Rhodes, who has an inexhaustible reserve of water. This video will no doubt take many web users on a trip down memory lane.